More than half a year ago, on October the 13th, 2020, I started to look for darker sky regions. So far the best I had seen was Boreal Class 4, but I knew that there were Boreal Class 3 skies in the mountains approximately 100 kilometers south. After finding that location, I was constantly looking at the weather conditions there, hoping to get a chance to visit these Boreal Class 3 skies. Ten months later, my wish was to be fulfilled. I knew that the weather was good on May the 30th, the 31st and on the 1st of June. So on the 29th of May I went there for the first time exploring the terrain and looking for potential photography spots. In the end I settled for the empty riverbed one mile south from Fordoris as it is the only big plain that I could find in this region. So, after scouting out the location, I went back home and prepared everything for the following day. One day passed, and then on May the 30th, it was finally go time. I packed all the stuff in the car and started the one and a half hour drive into the mountains. After arrival I packed the stuff out of the car and made my way down into the riverbed. After going down the 4 meter drop it only was a 40 to 50 meter walk into the center of the riverbed. At that time it was already 10.45 pm but until 11.30 pm the sky was still getting darker. So I waited 45 minutes and at 11.40 pm I made the first few test shots to find the settings for the time lapse I had planned to start at 12.15 am. I ended up with ISO 2500 and f2.8 at 20 seconds of exposure. I set the number of pictures my camera should take to 500 so that the camera would definitely take pictures until its battery dies. And then I waited until 15 past 12 and started the series then. All I had to do then was wait. Two freezing hours with 2 degrees Celsius and wind later, the camera finally died. But when I checked the lens, there was a ton of dew on the front. I should have expected that, but for some reason I didn't. I was afraid that the dew could destroy the whole time lapse. So I packed all my stuff, brought it back to the car, and at 2.30 am, started the one and a half hour drive back. When I was half the way through, it was already dawn of the day again. Then finally, at 4 a.m. I arrived at home again. Two days later, on the 1st of June, I went out there for the second time. On the way to the site I saw the same red deer male on the street as the day before. When I arrived at the site I again packed everything out of the car and again started the photography plan. This time the battery ran for more than two and a half hours. At around about 3 am when everything was in the car again I started to drive back. At 4.30 am I was back home again. The last thing I had to do was to edit the pictures and compose the time lapses. For former, I used Adobe Photoshop only. And for a second, I first used Adobe Lightroom and after that I bought LR time lapse 
to compose the timelapse. Sadly, it took a week or so until I got my verification key for LRT. However, after a ton of work, the two time lapses and photos are done and dusted. So, without further ado, let's see how everything turned out. 